Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? A very short introduction to Adobe After Effects. I always get the question, what do you use After Effects for? Well, you use it for anything you can't do in your traditional editing application like Premiere Pro. Motion graphics, complex motion graphics, 3D animations, compositing, and lots of those things. Works with layered Photoshop, Illustrator files. It really is the go-to application for making some really cool looking stuff. Uh, I'm gonna start just by showing you a completely blank canvas and what to do, and then I'll show you some output examples, and we'll also look at a great company called Crazy Horse Effects and how they use After Effects for feature films. So this is After Effects right here. It's uh, a typical Adobe application divided into multiple panels. Um, you don't have two displays like a source and a program. There's one comp window, composition window over here. Down at the bottom is our timeline. Over on the right hand side, we've got different panels. And typically with Adobe, we have got a bunch of different um, workspaces that you can use. A lot of times I'll just stick in the standard one in here. Um, you start by creating a comp and down here we click the create new comp or we can go to the file menu and create a new comp. I like to click here and we can create any size including odd sizes. You don't need to create something that's a typical 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. You can create something you know 5,000 pixels wide by 3 pixels high if you wanted that kind of an animation. I'm just going to create something uh, HD. There we go. So let's use that one. That's uh, 1920, 1080 square pixels, 2997. But of course, you could make this anything you want. The resolution, um, we can also put this on temporarily. This has nothing to do with uh, the final output. It's just how we're rendering it. And then this is the hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. I'm going to make something five seconds, point zero. So this is going to be five seconds long. Click OK. And there we go. We now have our timeline down here with nothing in it. We can put anything we want in here like shapes. We can put rectangles, rounded rectangles, ellipses, polygons, and stars. So let's just put a star in here. I'll click and drag that star. And as I'm tapping the up and down arrows, I'm adding points to this uh, polygon star. And if I grab the control key, um, uh, the command key on the Mac, I can change how far that is, hold the shift key, and I make that star just like that. So there's the star with a fill of black. So let's make a fill of red, no stroke, and I'll grab my arrow key, and we now have a star on there. Nothing spectacular, but uh, if we look down here in the bottom, we can see that we have one layer, and we open that up, we have the contents, which is this a poly star and below that transform. This is very much like the effects controls that you already saw in Premiere Pro. You can see the uh, position, rotation, and I can either move it down here in the bottom or I can just drag inside and move in here. So we can do something very simple like add a, uh, a rotation value inside here. So I can rotate this around and I'm rotating it around this this anchor point inside here, which you also have control um, over here on how you're moving that anchor point. And you can uh, move that to the center so it's snapping to the center. So just a very crude animation. When I click inside here, there's my rotation. I move this over here and change that value. Now I have an animated star. That's 90% of what After Effects is. It's just instead of rotation, it's scale, opacity, it's um, compositing, it's 3D movements, all of that crazy stuff. So you can also, at the same time, change the position. So that's the original position over there, and now I'll move it over there, and now we've got our star moving from there to there. Pretty simple animations, but that's the kind of thing you can use After Effects for. Now, let me get a little bit more complex in here and I'll open up a different comp and start showing you some other things that we can do. Uh, here's an example where I took an Illustrator uh, file, which is the shield, uh, and I brought that in as Illustrator files. And then I also created this, uh, this 
welding kind of look with smoke and with uh, sparks and it's following the exact path of that. The cool thing about After Effects is, is it can use the paths from Illustrator. Now you can also use this for green screen work. So I've got different backgrounds uh, in front of here and I removed the original green background on this file right there. Another one is being able to track a plane and replace things. So this is in the compositing realm where I have a, um, a camera move that was copied and that camera move um, in that camera move, you can see it's tracking along that image, but I actually put the image of that on top. So th there's the original file, and I added the cat image and tracked that inside there. You can also use it to remove backgrounds. Now this was a background that was not green screen, so when I turn this off, you'll just see a white background, but you can see how we can get things like the edges of hair and stuff like that compositing uh, in something that wasn't shot correctly. And here's an example that I created of uh, multiple elements together to look as if the person is revealing the text as they're walking by. And this was not shot with a green screen, it's using After Effects to composite that person over that background. Uh, so if we open up this and have a look, uh, you'll actually see a separate comp of him walking in front of that where I remove the background and uh, place that in there and you'll see a little shadow in there. Now let's look at some professional work done by the folks at Crazy Horse Effects. This is a company out of Hollywood that works on a lot of feature films and uh, the stuff they do for Boardwalk Empires is just amazing. When you, you look at all the compositing of all the layers and elements together, a lot of this is strictly flat 2D images placed and uh, composited to look as if they're real with smoke on top of it and backgrounds that are replaced to give a larger set look. Uh, first green screened out and then a bunch of 2D elements dropped in so you cannot even tell the difference. So from a simple star animation to a feature film, After Effects covers an enormous amount of power. You don't have to use all of the application. Few people use uh, probably more than 10 or 20 percent of the application. It's very powerful. It's great to have in your bag of tricks when you need to do something you can't normally do in a video editing application. Well, I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe link to Video Revealed, and uh, I would appreciate that. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.